gold and silver both have started the week on a slight bullish note where we have seen gold achieving 23.4 while silver hitting 23.05 and reversing. Now what to expect from gold and silver, how to profit, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates, press the bell icon and do like, share and comment. Let's start. First gold followed with silver, watch till the end and with the, at the end of every update, I will be sharing the trading levels and strategy. So do listen to it. And yes, if you have not joined the channel memberships, do join the channel memberships. Now let's have a deeper look at it. See 2010 was the support, but if you look at the candles here, you will find 2012, 2014, 2016, higher bases are getting created in gold and higher lows, higher highs are getting achieved. That is one part to it. The next observation here is if you just connect the preceding three peaks gold is seen, you will find these are beautifully connected and today again it has hit this trend line. Thus, we have to wait for gold to trade about 2034-36 zone in order to confirm further rise and if you see gold is staying about 2040-42, consider this for a stronger reversal. Now, on the hourly charts, if you notice, almost double top and since then price is retracing here, yet it has to break below 2024. Below 2024 is where slight bearishness can be seen. See, moving averages crossing over here certainly is a sign of bullishness. But 2024-22 is going to remain greater support. Stock stick looking downwards, sign of bearishness. Moving average is also, con uh, might be also converging here. That is also sign of a slight bearishness as it has stayed divergent for a while before converging. RSI looking downwards. Remember, it, uh, the MACD has not yet crossed over, so do not treat this as a complete reversal. The 2-hour charts as well, 20 and, 50 period, 20 and 50 period crossover is seen, certainly on a bullish side. Also, look at these two candles. It has eliminated or erased all the gains from the preceding first candle and it has come to the level from where the rise has started. The stock stick is looking downwards. MACD is in green. It is trying to trade with bullishness here. It is trying to converge now. RSI looking downwards. Coming to 3 likewise on the 3 RHR, see higher lows here, higher highs here. Yes, if you see gold is staying below 2024, we can initiate a selling entry, but then it has to break below 2018 levels in order to confirm the bearishness here. Below 2018 is where slight bearishness can be observed. We have to be watchful of that. The stock ISTIC looking downwards, MACD is divergent, MACD is bullish, RSI is looking downwards, coming to 4 RHR. On the 4 hour charts, almost symmetrical candle here, almost symmetrical move here. The next candle is what I will be going to watch. Beyond 2024, certainly little bearishness might take it till towards 2020-2018 levels. And then on the downside, 2016-2014 zone is going to remain a great, great support. So far, we have been observing lower highs and higher lows. Gold is just consolidating, waiting for a breakout either which way. Any drop below 2014 and then 2010 levels is where the bears are waiting for gold and then the prices might crash. But right now it is not suggestive of the same. The stock ISTIC has retraced, MACD is divergent, MACD is bullish, RSI is looking downwards, coming to daily. Now before we look into daily charts and I give you the strategy for the day, if you want to learn this art of trading, be a part of my mentorship batch. The 28th batch commences today. Register yourself now and you can also register for the forthcoming batch as well. And if you just want to be a part of my channel or memberships or signals me group memberships, you can be a part of it on Telegram. Reach out to me via Telegram or email for more details. Also, visit the platform forexfunda.com. This is my own platform where you get the live charts, the economic calendar, the community of traders. And also you can book a call with me if you need any consultation or guidance. Now look at the daily, similar observation on the daily charts as well. Lower highs, higher lows, zone of consolidation drop consolidation and if it breaks below 2010 yes we can expect a sharper drop else what is happening right now you one must note that in the near term we have seen gold trading bullish here it is traded in this flag formation and if this flag breaches out if prices stays above the zone one can consider that now gold is going to rally right now it is very much in the consolidation zone now again on the daily charts if you look at See, couple of swings, higher lows, higher highs. Trying to stay in this zone only, trying to stay in this bullish channel only. Thus, for the day 2018 and then 2014 levels remain a very strong support zone. 
only below which we can expect slight bearishness towards 2010 and below that a complete reversal. A stock ISTIC is rising. MACD tried to converge but it has not yet crossed over and if it does show a crossover certainly the bullish momentum may prevail. RSI is rising. Considering this I will recommend you to sell gold at 2024. Be careful at around 2018 2022 zone very very strong support zone which i have been always say, sharing you all that 2018 levels should play a good support here 2018 2020 and on the downside 2014 the next support below that is where the bear shall wait and below 2010 is where the crash can be seen right now no signs of bearishness it is still staying bullish and thus any point of time if you see it is staying above 2034 35 you can initiate a buying entry there i will look forward to 2040 42 as the first target and beyond that is where a rally can be seen in between these levels in between uh, strongly in between 2010 and 2040 42 these are the this is the zone where we have to exercise extra caution 30 dollars a wide zone but yes a safer entry is above and below these levels in between this, we have to strictly trail our stop losses. Take your positions accordingly. Now, let's have a look at silver on the early charts. It is still staying bullish. Yes, it has consolidated here enough at 2270, 2280 before rising. But one must notice 23, 2305 is still remaining a greater resistance for silver to break past by. I have always shared that 23, 23, 20 levels is something we should watch out for and then 23, 50, 60. Now, can we expect it to move towards those? If you look at early charts rise, retracement, rise, retracement, higher lows, higher highs. Potential is there. If you see silver is staying below 2290, 2285 levels, that is the point where we can initiate a selling entry, else it is still staying bullish. The stock ISTIC has dropped a bit. MACD is in green trying to converge. RSI staying flat. Coming to two on the two hour charts, you have seen it getting support here at 22. 85, 22, 90 and since then a stronger rise is observed. Also, the prices are trading with divergence, moving averages are looking upward, certainly signs of bullishness. On the 2 hour charts rise, retracement rise, it could retrace and if you notice, the lows at 2280 again going to remain a great support. The stock ISTIC rising, MACD almost flat, RSI almost flat. Coming to 3 hour Likewise, on the 3 hour charts here, it's still staying bullish. We have to wait for it to break on the downside. Below 2280-2270 zone is where the bears will be seen as it is still staying bullish. Remember, yes, 23-2305 has been a greater resistance for silver so far. Also, if you notice how it has been trading, see, symmetrical and then after the rise, it is trying to trade or consolidate in this zone before waiting for a breakout. So, yes. Uh, any move about 23.20 is where the rally can start and then 23.50, 23.60 it has to break in order to confirm further reversal. The stock ISTIC has retraced. MACD is trying to converge crossover. It is still staying in green and it has not yet crossed over on the buy side as of now. RSI, comfortable. Coming to 4R, important to note on the 4R charts, moving averages 20 and 50 period crossing over here, forming the support at 22.70, 80 and since then we have been seeing we have seen silver trading with slight bullish bias on the upside and this zone is completely a bullish channel in which it is trying to trade. Yes, it is also forming a nice flag formation, bullish flag formation. Thus, any move beyond 23.10 levels is where you can initiate a buying position, wait for it to break beyond 23.25 and then 23.50-60. These are going to be the resistances on the upside. The stock ISTIC has seen a rise, MACD is divergent and bullish, RSI is looking downwards. Coming to the daily now look at the daily charts. First of all, the lows are created here and if you just connect this, the highs here, you will find that silver is trying to trade in this channel. This is a bearish channel. It has to break beyond 2350-2360 zone in order to confirm a reversal. After seeing the bottom, it has tried to rise. Now see what has happened so far for last few sessions is 23, 23 or 5 levels giving it a good resistance. Now today again we have seen it showing a swing in between 2280 to 2305. Thus at least in between this zone we have to be careful. Today we can initiate a selling position if you see it is staying below 2290 levels. But then we have to be careful. We have to wait for it to break and stay below 2280, 2270 zone in order to confirm bearishness. The stock ISTIC has come to overbought levels. MACD has crossed over here. Trading with divergence, trading bullish, looking upwards. Certainly, you can see 
silver has stayed or seen a strong bearish momentum before showing this rise thus it can continue in green rsi rising as well considering this i will recommend you to buy here at 2310 and sell at 2290 when i say 2310 it has to be the uh, specifically for buying entry the low price has to be above 2310 in order to confirm the bullishness and on the downside 2290 the higher price should be below 2290 in order to confirm the sell here be careful as long as 2270 is not breached silver can reverse and on the upside 2325 levels we have to watch out beyond that uh, certainly bullish momentum can prevail and continue take your positions accordingly reversal confirmation on the upside a breakout on the upside in silver is about 2350 beyond that we will treat silver for a stronger rally on the upside on the downside be careful at around 2260 2240 zone below which yes a massive crash can be seen right now it is very much in the consolidation zone thus take your positions accordingly do like share subscribe and comment press the bell icon join the mentorship batch webinar series or signals channel reach out to me for any of your queries thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you